As visual creatures, we humans have an innate affinity for the captivating world of movies, the quintessential visual medium. Our brains are exquisitely wired to see things. An impressive half of our brain is devoted, directly or indirectly, to processing visual information. The brain cortex, a crucial part of our brain responsible for higher order thinking, dedicates about 30% of its neurons to handling visual stimuli. In comparison, touch receives 8% of cortical attention and hearing gets only 3%. It's no surprise that a significant majority, around 65% of people, are classified as visual learners. And some studies suggest this number might even soar to an astounding 80%. Our visual prowess doesn't end with processing. We have an exceptional ability to remember visual information too. Tests have unveiled that individuals can recollect over 2,000 images with a staggering 90% accuracy, even for several days. Surprisingly, our ability to remember pictures surpasses our memory for words. It is no wonder we all know someone who might admit they struggle with names, but never forget a face. Speaking of faces, let's delve into the realm of Oppenheimer's movie actors and their real-life counterparts. Along the way, we'll uncover some startling facts about the film and the historical figures that you never knew before and will surely captivate your imagination. As the reels unfold in the Oppenheimer movie, we witness historical personalities spring to life with exquisite precision, as if lifted from the pages of history itself. Prepare to be amazed as we present 10 extraordinary side-by-side -side comparisons, where the lines between the cast and their real-life counterparts blur in mesmerizing unison. Our remarkable ability to remember faces might be rooted in the way pictures effortlessly intertwine with other knowledge stored in our brains, enhancing their memorability. For many of us, the face of Rami Malek as David Hill, with its distinctive jawline, is likely to linger in our memory more than the mere name David Hill. But here's a fascinating tidbit. Did you know that actor Robert Pattinson played a role in inspiring Christopher Nolan to bring Oppenheimer to life? Towards the conclusion of filming Nolan's previous movie, Tenet, Pattinson presented the director with a gift, a book containing Oppenheimer's speeches. This thoughtful gesture ignited the spark that led Nolan to embark on the interesting journey of creating a biopic about the iconic physicist himself. Niels Bohr was a Danish physicist who won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1922 for his work on atomic structure and quantum mechanics. As a mentor for the project, Bohr famously said that it couldn't be done without turning the entire country into a factory. In fact, the portrayal of the Manhattan Project in the Oppenheimer film reveals a grand industrial endeavor involving three secret cities covertly taken over and transformed by the US government. Picture the sheer magnitude of this clandestine undertaking, employing an estimated half million individuals. One of these covert cities, Hanford and Washington, spanned an area half the size of Rhode Island. They cleared the locale of its inhabitants, and they bulldozed their homes to pave the way for reactors dedicated to the production of plutonium. Handpicked by Atomic Energy Commission Chairman Louis Strauss, Roger Robb assumed the role of prosecutor in J. Robert Oppenheimer's security clearance hearing. He walked into the courtroom with an intimidating air of bravado, and his formidable presence at times noticeably rattled Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer marks a significant departure for Nolan, as it is his first R-rated film in over two decades. Before this, his last R-rated film was 2002's Insomnia, a somewhat lesser-known piece in his repertoire, featuring the talents of Al Pacino and Robin Williams. Albert Einstein, renowned as one of the most influential scientists of the 20th century, had a rather peculiar beginning. He didn't utter a word until he reached the age of three, a testament to the enigmatic ways of human development. Now, while watching the movie, keep a keen eye out for actor Tom Conti's feet. As he portrays Einstein, you might notice an interesting detail. The physicist himself never wanted to wear socks. In his wisdom, Einstein considered them utterly useless and opted to go sock-free throughout his life. Louis Strauss held a prominent position as a founding commissioner of the Atomic Energy Commission back in 1947 where he played a crucial role in shaping America's nuclear policy after the war. In a recent statement, director Christopher Nolan expressed his quest for an actor who could exude a certain level of gravitas. He found that perfect match in Robert Downey Jr. As we witness both Strauss's historical significance 
and Downey Jr.'s prowess in portraying the character, the gravitas of their respective expressions shine through unmistakably. Catherine Kitty Oppenheimer, a German-American biologist and botanist, held a significant role as the wife of J. Robert Oppenheimer. She was also known to be a member of the Communist Party, adding intrigue to her story. In an interesting turn of events, Oppenheimer marks Nolan's first foray into a big-budget movie without Warner Brothers Pictures. The director's departure from the studio came after a rift when Warner Brothers streamed its slate of 2021 films on HBO Max, now just Max, at the same time as their theatrical releases. This unexpected decision was made without proper consultation with the cast and crew, leaving Nolan with a sense of disrespect for craftsmanship and artistic vision. Vannevar Bush was the director of the U.S. Office of Scientific Research and Development, which was newly formed at the time of events in the film. He's known for his work in the development of the atomic bomb and other weapons during World War II. His creativity didn't stop there. He designed the concept of a device he named Memex from memory and expansion. It was an automatic personal filing system to serve as a supplement to a person's memory. This concept of the Memex influenced the development of early hypertext systems, eventually leading to the creation of the World Wide Web. Gene Tatlock, a psychiatrist with a Stanford education, experienced a complex romance with J. Robert Oppenheimer. Remarkably, Tatlock's association with the Communist Party led the FBI to place her under surveillance and tap her phone. Fascinatingly, Oppenheimer found inspiration for the name Trinity, for the site of the atomic bomb test from a poem by John Donne, a piece of literature he had once shared with Tatlock during their entangled relationship. Leslie Groves Jr., a U.S. Army Corps of Engineers officer, had recently completed the construction of the Pentagon when he was entrusted with the pivotal role of overseeing the Manhattan Project in September 1942. As for Matt Damon, during couples therapy with his wife Luciana, they came to an agreement that he would take a break from work. However, there was one exception. If Chris Nolan were to call him to offer a role, he couldn't resist the opportunity. Did you know that moon craters and asteroids are often named after esteemed scientists? Interestingly, both a crater and an asteroid, number 67085, proudly bear the name of J. Robert Oppenheimer. In Christopher Nolan's mesmerizing screenplay, we embark on an extraordinary journey from an unusual vantage point, a first-person perspective. Nolan skillfully weaves passages in which Oppenheimer himself seems to narrate the events, providing us with a deeper understanding of the moral dilemmas haunting his thoughts as he envisions the far-reaching consequences of this powerful weapon. Indeed, the development of the atomic bomb triggered an arms race that transformed the course of history and continues to shape our lives to this day. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button now and join our community. By subscribing, you'll help us create and share even more powerful stories that will brighten our day and broaden our perspectives. Your simple action can make a big difference to our mission. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Subscribe today. Also, we recommend you to watch another of our videos in which we tackle another captivating story. Bright Talk Style, one revelation at a time. The links are here on this screen and in the description below.